This was literally inside of me for nine months. Hello, my beautiful internet friends, and welcome back. I have a story that was very unexpected for you guys today. I was actually upstairs taking a shower to get ready to film a completely different video when I looked down and I noticed something, and well, the day took a turn. Uh, let me preface this by saying that I absolutely 100% realize that doctors are human, that they make mistakes. I, I am very well aware of that in my 14 years of living in and out of doctor's offices and hospitals and surgical rooms. With that being said, there are some mistakes that I feel like could be avoided and I'm kind of tired of problems and I'm tired of mistakes and all of that and so yeah, so we're gonna talk about this, this little thing here today. Quick word of warning, two things. First of all, uh, if you are squeamish or squirmy or don't like little bits of blood or anything medical, do not watch the next little bit of this video because I am actually gonna be taking something out of my body, out of my skin. Secondly, if you are in any kind of medical situation, don't try this yourself, don't do this at home. If you think this might be happening to you or you have something left in your body or your skin, call your doctor. Uh, this was just what I decided to do. So this is not a recommendation, this is just me telling my story. You may see this and think, Joe, that's tiny and insignificant and why would that be a big deal at all? Well, this, my friends, is a stitch. This is what was used to hold my skin together after they amputated my leg nine months ago. And I was taking a shower and I looked down and I noticed this little black mark on my skin, except that it had grown. Now if I'm taking a shower, I don't expect black marks on my skin to have grown. I've noticed it there for months. It's been there pretty much since the beginning. I kind of noticed it like two months after my amputation surgery. It kind of just looked like a darker scar or something like that. So I thought, okay, you know, whatever. Um, I did suspect, oh, I lost it. Ah, there we go, success, okay. So I did actually um, suspect that maybe it could be like a stitch or something like that. But there are always bigger things going on so I never really paid it any mind. But I noticed that it had like moved. And so I got out of the shower and I, I turned on my camera. I kind of started prodding around at it, which did not feel super awesome. But I noticed that it was moving and that there was obviously like a foreign body under my skin. And I decided to figure out what the heck was going on down there. And it took six minutes for me to get this out. And you know, looking at it before I actually got it out of my skin, it looked like it was maybe like that big, right? But when I actually pulled it out, it was a heck of a lot longer. And it was it was underneath like the surface of my skin going into my leg. And here's the thing, it's a tiny little thing, right? But if you leave stitches in, there's a risk of infection. If you leave stitches in, the risk of scarring goes up. And if you leave stitches in, like there's no freaking excuse for that to me. Like as a doctor, you put 10 stitches in, you take 10 stitches out, right? I don't know. And I don't know if you can see this, but on the top, it's almost like barb. And on the bottom, down here, whoops, I lost it again. It's like bent like a, like a fish hook or something. I can tell you for sure that wasn't helping anything in there. It probably wasn't causing significant pain, but if that was near a nerve or near scar tissue or whatever, and I'm, and I'm moving on that, that's gonna irritate it more. Why the frick was a stitch left in? I texted Brian, like, guess what I just pulled out of my body? And he was like, I wonder what else is left in there? And it was kind of like a joke, but at the same time, I say like a lot when I'm upset. It's like, what other attention to detail was wasn't paid. Again, I get the doctors are people, I get that mistakes are made, but it was actually my surgeon who took out the stitches. This just really bothers me. And for those of you guys who are wondering, I have changed teams for this next surgery that I'm having. I'm actually going in on Wednesday to actually find out when we're gonna fix my leg, hopefully once and for all. Totally different people, highly, highly respected, referred by I think three other amputees that I personally know have worked with both of these guys and really, really like them. Ugh, it's just really frustrating to me. Like, why would you leave a freaking thing in my body? Your job was really simple. Just take out what you put in. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little dramatic or overreactive here. I think I'm kind of just like easily set off when it comes to medical things these days. But hey, I got it out. It's done. Everything's better. I stopped bleeding because I did have to like dig it out underneath the, the surface a little bit, which, hey, might not have been the best idea ever, but I also don't think leaving a stitch in my body was the best idea ever. Yeah, so that's been an adventure. <laughs> the moral of the story is, dear doctors, please don't leave stitches or other things inside of bodies that you're working on. Thanks. Ugh. Anyways, all's well that ends well, I guess. So, I mean, everything's fine now, but 
There's my little adventure for today. Here's to hoping that there won't be too many more medical adventures to come, fingers crossed. A huge thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon. I really, really appreciate all your support and the family that you guys have given me over there. And thank you to everyone watching. Thank you for watching this video and for spending some time with me today. And I hope that my digging a stitch out of my skin didn't gross you guys out too much. As soon as I realized that it was like in there and moving, I was like, no, this needs to, this needs to come out. I'm not okay with it sitting in my body any longer. Hope it wasn't too gross to see. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have you heard from the sky?